Hello and welcome to this Sim 7 product update for the Autumn 2023 release. In this session, we're going to look at some new functionality to bulk import user-defined field data for student records. So let's begin. If we first go to reports, student list and general student list. If I was to now pick up a filter and load up just for year seven and then click OK and OK the filter. If I now move over to the right hand side and change from the basic details data areas down to user defined field, we can then bring over some user defined fields. So if I take locker number and network username as well. Now we've brought these two data items onto the canvas, we can see that there is no data recorded for either locker number or the network username for year seven students. If I close out of this, if I now go to routines, data in, student data and import from spreadsheet. In the autumn release, we have updated this utility to accommodate user defined field data to be imported directly into Sims. If I select search for file and scroll down and pick up my year seven user defined field import file and click open. When I select next, it will bring up a confirmation warning to ensure that the data that you're importing is applicable to this school. On confirmation, we can now see the import data ready to come in. If I go through and select the matching fields, and then once the matching fields have been brought in, I can then right click at the top of the columns and go down to data for import, down to user defined field, a new area, and then pick up one of my active user defined fields to accommodate the data. In this instance, locker number, and network username. Now that has been selected, I can check and I can see all of the inbound data before I import this. If I then select next, we can see the matching screen has picked up the correct students in the database. On clicking finish, it will ask me to ensure that these are the values I want to import and then I get a confirmation of import activity log detailing all the data that has been brought into the system. If I close this import dialog, if I now go back to reports, student list, general student list, and if I repeat the same filters for year seven again that I used earlier, And if I now repeat the same activity by going over to the user defined data and dragging the locker number and the network username onto the canvas, we can now see that all of the data from the CSV spreadsheet has been brought into SIMS and recorded against the required students. This no doubt makes the process of importing the data much quicker and easier where this data has previously been stored in a CSV style spreadsheet outside of SIMS. If you have any further ideas or feedback, please do let us know via the ESS Ideas portal or via the Sim 7 Satisfaction Survey. I hope this has been useful. Thank you for watching.